map. So welcome back to Level Up TV. Map 2, Austria versus Hungary, Clan Base and Nations Cup. TDM, myself, Disrepute, joined by Vor still. You should be on it. Should be on it, shouldn't I? Is there going to be any team changes? Have a look. Oddie himself, Axion, Noctis and Ty for Austria. I didn't see they had any substitutes around anyway. But Hungary, we know they have people sitting there waiting to get their chance. But it doesn't look like they're going to change anybody yet. Feeder, Dash, Kill Kiss and Smoggy at the moment. Yeah, we know that Zolly's available if uh, needed. And then maybe a player, if his level experience would be useful on this map. But... We'll have to see. I don't. Doesn't look like anyone's going to be coming to join instead of the current lineups. So I mean, Austria taking their map in what well, seemed like a comfortable score, I guess, at the end, but it was really done on those final, what well, the penultimate power up. Yeah, the score was comfortable, but I don't know. I say again, the map control in terms of picking up the armors, at least wasn't really there because Hungary they certainly took more reds they took more yellows they took a similar amount of mega health so just Austria they dominated the power ups if you're getting an advantage on the resources I mean that in itself doesn't mean anything you're not going to win a map by just having more reds but it's, it should give you the opportunity to do more with them you can get yeah. you should be able to survive longer you should be able to be a bit more aggressive and get more kills I mean well most of the time and most games we'll see the team that gets the most armors you know they're normally the team that's winning normally but it's all about how you use them and it seems hungry just didn't use what they managed to get on purgatory well enough looks like they are going to make a substitute so Kilkis going to sit this one out and yeah I think that's Zolly returns I mean Zolly's got huge experience playing in Nations Cup for Hungary particularly on this map as well. There's a solid change. This is their map pick, Hungary. So, I mean, you could take it as a loss on their opponent's home map pick isn't such a big deal. No. I think it's the manner in which they lost it, though, which could concern them. And what we did see from uh, the Austrian team was the organisation, especially around those power-up setups, the battlesuit area especially, with the Austrian team just all turning up at the right time, spread out in good positions defensively. Stacked player often, say Noctis, to get the power up. So that kind of organisation is going to be very important on a map like this. Oh yeah, I mean, if they can get Noctis stacked up with red armours, ready for the power ups, then it's possibly going to be more of the same. So all of Austria ready up, rearing to go. Still waiting on the Hungarian team. Oh yeah, exactly Austria. They're, they're riding high at the moment after that first map. They're going to look to finish Hungary off, not even take it to a third map. Third map is from a selection of Tornado, a new map pretty much never really played in competitive play. That would be an interesting third map. Um, Hidden Fortress, which I would say Hungary would feel comfortable on. Um, and Dreadful Place. Which would perhaps maybe favour Austria a bit more. But which would? Dreadful Place. Possibly. Noctis in and play some good games on that map. I think it's the kind that of map where one guy course. can dominate as well. Uh, maybe. I mean, it's, it's hard to say there's too much between the teams on any map though. Especially so. Let's see, alright, Feeder, the last guy to ready up. Before we go, right, you're going to call it then, Bill. Who's going to take this map? I'm calling it Austria that we're going to win this. So it's going to be a 2-0 Austria? Yeah, I mean, before the first map, I, I didn't really have there being too much difference between the teams, but it's just the way Austria won that first map, but I can't really look past them for this map either. But we'll see. I'd love to see a third map. Nothing else to do. 
<laughs> there we go, live. Feeder of the bounce pad straight away. Gets knocked in the air by an air rocket. And Austria got all the spawns inside the red. Yeah, and this is such an early advantage because look. Oh wait, this could be a decent attack. I mean, Dash is more stacked than I expected, but it does eventually go down. Yeah, it seemed like his team might have been moving in, but they didn't get in yeah. quick enough. And, so... and that's a terrible start, you'd have to say, for Hungary. I mean, that's 4-0 to zero and... And they lost hey, Dash, who had armor, as you say, yeah, and a rocket. Yeah, power-ups could really be a problem now. Drop the rail. Well, the power-ups will be on 42 seconds. Pretty similar oh, to I the first the time. So, five seconds to go. Until we get the power-ups, one's following Ty, who just kind of yeah, commits gave suicide. That, that could be key. A bad one. Oh, my God. Oh, Noctis, nice. nice rocket jumps. Zolly can get through quickly, and Noctis is rushed into that shotgun room. That's intelligent play from him. He does Great catch out the quad as well. Brilliant, brilliant play. I, I didn't expect him to have actually made it to that room, considering where we switched off him with the rocket jumps. I guess he was so focused on doing that job, and it just worked out brilliantly for Austria. Got to be careful, just get caught down in this lower area, though. Yeah, just as his battle suit expired, he could have been taken out there by Zolly if his rockets had been absolutely perfect, but it was Noctis with the stronger rockets. Austria pretty efficient on the frag so far. As Ty takes that red. I'm going to switch around from Noctis, see someone who's maybe on the other side of the map. Feeder, just at this court area with the railgun. Only two shots though. So it seems Hungary are happy to uh, allow Austria to have a red without much pressure, but. No, they, they seem to be doing a good job of pushing back attacks onto the yellow side. You know, they've picked up a few kills. So, three of Austrian's players in this upper yellow armor area quad. Following Zolly at the moment, 165 shaft in hand. Is he going to counter with the shaft? Very dangerous to do that against rocket players. Yeah, you have to hit perfect shaft if you're going to use it in that position because obviously rockets have a huge advantage fighting in that area. Switch around to Smoggy, who does go down to Ty, who's aggressing in this lower area. Yeah, he's just looking to keep that rail position locked down so that the battle suit is a lot safer for his team to pick up. And it's kind of worked because it's pushed all of Hungary back to this quad. There we go, battle suit in the hands of Noctis. Delay on the quad, interesting. They're going to wait until they actually spot him. That's always a bit dangerous, I think. What? That is a massive delay. Oh, he took a huge rocket as well, just as he picked it up, Dash. Shows how much armor he did have, because he's still 90-80. Shaft yeah. in hand. Now, I guess with that amount of delay on it, nine seconds. Yeah, he he's just going to time his attack into red, so that he's in as the battle suit expires, and that gives him a window of opportunity to kill everyone. Right, he should move in now. Yeah, he should be in already. Does There's take Noctis out Noctis, good kill straight away. He needs his team to come and support him in locking this down. He's going to take out three players, is he? No! Axiom. Oh, wow. Somehow managed to survive that with the shotgun. Great work from him. I mean, it wasn't even bad LG, really. Maybe shouldn't have used the LG, is maybe the uh, option there. Can get yeah, he, he certainly did a lot of damage with it, and Axiom survived it somehow. And that survival, though, has really helped. Austria keep the pressure on in this room. And it looks like Austria might secure it out as well. Oh wow, nice rockets from Noctis. Leaves the red to his teammate. He's got 18 health. So he doesn't want to risk it too much. Did just drop a rocket launcher effectively to the enemy. Oh, look at that spawn for Zolly. That's helped so much. nine frag margin now. Yeah, we seem to see if Austria keep right coming thing. in and yeah, this is great positioning. Oh, he's taken out by an LG though, maybe a bit too easily. Look at that, 70 armor with Axion as well. Whoa, rocketing each other about. It's a frantic battle for this red and you know, both teams have to be careful not to keep this up for too long because yeah. it's not far battle to go suit. until battle suit now. Five seconds to go until battle suit. Is, are they even noticing it? it? Doesn't look like they've got it on their mind at all. Look at this, hungry. There it oh, is, Noctis, Noctis easily grabs forget. it. Yeah. You could just see it. Oh my god, they've knocked him into the red armor as well. 
He's taken a lot of damage. Double power up. You could see that miles off just by the way Hungry was still attacking and not thinking about battle suit at all. So Axion with this quad. This Noctis causing all the problems. Though. He's he's in the uh, quad LG area. And it looks like he might sit there unless he's needed back up red. Well, with the quad here. And that's probably why the, we were watching the corner, he hasn't moved out. Noctis has already secured that side. Noctis has come back to red though, so... I don't know if he really needed to, because, as you say, Quad was at the red. Are we following? Axion still in this lower area by the battle, so just moving forward to lower yellow, rocket launcher out. Nobody around here from Hungary. Presumably they're going to drop down in a second. He could ambush them on this yellow. Does actually steal it away from them. Well, that's not a good thing for Hungary. Going to switch around. Zolly has actually made it into... Presumably he's spawned at this rocket launcher end and got the rocket off the spawn. He's done all kinds of damage to other Austrian players. Put them way out of position as well. But the problem with that is none of his team's moving in, so... No. You don't gain anything from it. I think they? they were still recovering from uh, Axion. And his push, that lower yellow after the power-up. I'm going to cycle around away from Ty for the minute. Sort of feeder with the rail. Looks like they're getting ready, hungry, maybe to push through. Yeah, but it wouldn't be a good time, would it? And, you know, they're not looking to do that. It looks like feeder might try and get in on this battle suit try and keep Austria away from it. Yeah, all three, as three Hungarian players down at this battle suit. Oh, I don't think they're going to be able to stop Austria picking it up though, no. Noctis again. So aware of where the players will come from. Dash does actually get the quad, though. It wasn't too easy, though he is up now to 150 stack. There's the battle suit. The battle suit must have spotted him just there running through. Yeah. <coughs> Not as big of a delay this time as well, so if he does try and go in after suit expires, he's only going to have four and a half, five seconds to get some kills with Wad. I'm a big fan of a delay about around this time. For yeah, he's done it the next battle. So battle suit, yeah. It has oh my worked, God. I don't know why he shot his own teammate there, but... <clears throat> Red is up, if anyone can see it. It's like a, a can. So this is pretty much the first time in the whole map so far that Hungary have found themselves at the red. Yeah, properly secured. Let's have a look at the rest of the areas. Actually, it looks like Austria are trying to push through the shotgun room as they switch to Zolli. There's only 15 health left. They're going to cycle away from him. Smoggy at the rail position. That looks secure. Oddy himself. 48% LG. Just taken away from him in front of him. No, looks like Austria are actually attacking through the shotgun room. Yeah, and they're in thanks to Axion. He has a lightning gun to work with as well. And there's not... Well, it's amazing rail from Zolly on 8 health. Five seconds to go until the red and dash is sitting on top of it. He's got 60 rail himself, 34 LG. Shotgun out at the moment. About a 20 frag margin. Which on this map you can see... You Kind of large turnarounds in pretty quick period of time, but well, if you dominate the map, sure. This. But Dash going for that next red, he's going to get caught out though. Oddie himself doesn't think about the fact that that might happen, but probably wisely. Oh my god, somehow Zolly survives. I think it was a rail from his own teammate. Noctis manages to get the pummel kill and win the quad, has to back off away as he spots the battle suit down below. No 50 for him, that would be unfortunate for Noctis. Might want to drop off for the 25s below. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he gets taken out by Smoggy, just didn't hear him around. Oh, look at that, leaving the rocket launcher. Almost gets caught out, Smoggy. Yeah, but Hungry back in position at this red, and you know, this is what they need if they want to come back in this. Haven't had a massive impact on the scoreline, but it, it's kind of going in their favour at least. Yeah, they, they don't need to rush. We're only just coming up to the halfway point. There's no point running at Austria on the yellows and giving away more frags. If, if they can just work this red armour for a while, the score can slowly come back in their favour. 
Remember, Hungary do need to win this map to keep the match alive. Still following Smoggy 100 100 with that rail. Cycle around a bit. Oddy himself is the guy spamming those rockets into that rail area. Axiom. There's just a bit of a standoff here. I mean, Oddy knows his people around that corner. Oh, he's caught Dash out completely. Yeah, following Axion pushing forwards towards that rail. It's a good couple of rockets. In fact, third rocket even. Make that a fourth, and he's almost. Caught yeah, out. he didn't get greedy either. I mean, he's already done so much damage there. He's done such a oh, good that job. That is really excellent play. So controlled, so calm. Didn't dive up the bounce pad. I. Probably would have dived up the bounce pad looking for the frag. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people would have, but as a result, you know, he's come away with the rail and he hasn't lost much health. I mean, another kill there. Look at this, they're going to secure the battle suit, it looks like, as well, from oh, from a position where he never should have had it. Because they didn't control the red. Noctis is going to come up behind the quad, is he? But the quad's not waiting around, takes out Ty, does take a rail to the chest before getting the frag, though. And now it's looking for where the quad is. Sounds looks like he might have got a call that he was coming in behind him. Only five seconds of suit left, of course, so there Noctis has to do something quick. Suit coming in. Quad, he does get two frags out of it, Noctis. That could be important. And look at the spawn as well. Yeah. Smog is just running into that lower area, trying to block off any kind of attacks. And I'm gonna switch around. Noctis, only five health in this Radama room, just managed to survive, in fact, get the 50, and he's got a rocket launcher, so... Not looking too shabby. Not hitting his rockets, though, unfortunately. Long-range rockets just trying to block off the red pickup. There, with Dash. Yeah, and Hungry may have done enough to keep hold of his red, and... Well, it's made, unfortunately, no real change in the score of this last few minutes. Yeah, just been pretty irrelevant. I mean, in all honesty, though, they've messed up badly, Hungary. So it could. Well, have... they've just they've just lost red as well. That passage of play could have seen them coming back, but I mean, giving up the battle suit when you've got control of red is with no real pressure on it either. That's pretty unforgivable. Two seconds. Excellent. And gets the spawn inside the red room feeder, just moving in with the shotgun there, gives it away straight away. Smoggy just dropping off. Battle suits up in ten seconds. He's gonna have to wait around here with only forty odd health. And it looks like it might even go to Austria again. There we go. Noctis, just make sure he gets it. He doesn't even have a rocket launcher, but he has got eighty armor. Smoggy with no real armor, no weapon either. No, he could find himself in trouble here. I don't know if Noctis is really aware. I mean, his teammate did steal that yellow, he probably caught that. I don't know why he's rushing through. Oh, he's made quad. Oh, sorry, he's made battle suit stay away from him, but, you know, battle suit's not going to really be bothered. Noctis has the position he wants over at the red, and the quad has nothing really to do anything about it. Desperately needed that LG about seven odd seconds before. Oh, does just get in and takes out Noctis rushing through the shotgun doorway. Yeah, that's nice LG work. He's that's a team good now LG to, uh, as well. Be here with them, and they are so. They're you know, hungry. They've taken over this red again, but it's, are they going to do anything with it this time? The score didn't really change after they held red for the last two or three minutes. I guess they've had it. Yeah, I mean they've dropped both battle suits since they've had control of red as well. Yeah, and then it's only six minutes left to turn this game around, and they have to win this map. Otherwise, they've lost this game 2-0 to Austria. Six minutes, three sets of power-ups, the next of which is in 40 seconds. That'll be the battle suit, which is five seconds ahead of the quad. Yeah, they, they really just need to get someone stacked with this suit this time. I mean, you know, you've got that red, it should be something you can do, no problem. Feeder's just moving in, doing a hell of a lot of damage, actually, at the quad area. Maybe if Dash could follow him in, they could actually win over that that room but they decide against it. Dash just pulling out some rail shots there. Teammate was moving in on the upper yellow. You should go in and support him now. Come on, come on, come on. It's too late. I it's that 
such a good play though in his last minute or so. Oh wow. Oh my god. Battlesuit is actually eliminated though. Its quad's going to be up in a second. Who's it going to go to? It is in fact Noctis. So double power up for Austria again. Even though really the score's closed in. Well, it's closed in, but not by much, you'd have to say. He's not just going to risk it out of the bounce, but he could take one rail shot and he'll be dead. Waiting to hear his team moving in, I think. He does eventually go out the bounce, but there's no rail to hit him anyway. Missed the first air rocket, it does actually space. get two frags in the end, so... That's got to be quite a good uh, outcome of that. Yeah, with those two kills, it's possible, depending on hungry spawns, that they could look to attack red, or that, you know, they might, at this stage of the game, feel they don't even need to. And they could just pick up frags that will come as hungry look to try and force something to happen, because it's hungry but do need the frags, and when you go looking for the frags, you tend to make yourself easier to kill. Well, Austria were quite aggressive there, in on the red room. Did do a lot of damage, but eventually getting fragged. Yeah, they are moving in though. Why well, the Hungarian players just disappeared? We're following Feeder's point of view there. Yeah, they like must it. have died in the shotgun room because there was two of that's them where them. Austria came from. Very annoying not having multi pod, of course. You do sometimes wonder how certain things have happened. Dash sitting at the back of this room by the rocket launcher spawn. Nice rail shots so as cover. It's actually hitting 56% with the rail. Axion with the rocket launchers in this shotgun room has to back off now. It's 10 seconds to go until the battle suit. Now he could make a choice here, just stay for the quad. Stack up, make sure he's got some armor for it. Or push in on the battle suit, which is what he's decided to do. And that was a wise decision in the end. Dash getting the quad though. Yeah, he's going to have five seconds of time where the battle suit expires as well if he chooses to wait that long. The way we've seen Hungary play so far, it's likely that he will wait. Let's take that next yellow 85 armor on the board, rocket launcher in hand. LG can now push straight away. Axion taken out, moves into the red room, needs to get another kill quickly. Oh, Noxus hits a pummel on him, but it's not enough. Red's up as well. That's worked out pretty well. 15 frags is the margin. <clears throat> well, if they have a good passage of play here, I mean, this could really set up for a nice comeback in the last power-ups. Yeah, they, they need a lot of frags, so I, I think they need to bring it back to 7 or 8, maybe, the difference. So there's a way to go to get to that point. 16 behind at the moment. Austria have moved yeah. in, taken on this red yeah, room. Red is just problem. about to spawn. Hungry just haven't really been able to dominate the map at any stage. Without doing that, it is hard to bring it back. And this will be really frustrating for them because they'll know they need to be aggressive and attack in. But I mean, coming up bounce pads through tight doorways against rocket players, it's not going to be easy. And that's the problem of being behind. You, know, you are forced to take risks to try and bring the score back, but you know, inevitably it gives away more frags. All right. Just gonna look at the scoreboard again. So we got 21 to 18 on the reds. It's pretty similar. Uh, and in terms of yellows, 40 to 37. It's it's negligible. negligible. Look at that battle suit time though. I think that's a key to the scoreline at the moment. Five seconds to go until the battle suit does spawn. Austria look like they're in on that position again. Noctis grabs it. For I don't know, the fifth time maybe. They don't even need to challenge for the quad really. Dash gonna come straight through, rushing in. Does take out the battle suit straight away. Down to eight health though. You've gotta be careful. He is fragged by Odd himself's rocket. And that seals the game as if it wasn't already. <laughs> Only one battle suit by Hungary in the whole map. That was for the full 30 seconds, but I mean, look at that. 3 minutes, 34 seconds, 9 battle suits in favour of Austria. Such a powerful power up on this map. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think we've maybe seen the quad win out, other than that last one there, where Noctis was low health. We've seen maybe quad win once against suit, so it really has been the key to the map for Austria. In terms of quad, 
2 minutes 42 from 7 power ups for Hungary, 1 minute 18, 3 power ups for Austria. Who's your star performers there? Well, Noctis with all the battlesuit runs. Yeah, I mean, he used that battlesuit well. Hard really to do anything against him when he's you know, running around the map dominating you with it.